large crowd gathered in downtown Minneapolis Saturday to protest the killing of Amir Locke. They marched in frigid weather to voice their outrage and demand answers after the fatal police shooting of Locke, many holding signs and shouting as they gathered near the government center before marching through the streets of downtown. Locke was fatally shot early Wednesday morning when a SWAT team for the Minneapolis Police Department carried out a no-knock warrant at an apartment complex. Locke, who was not named as a suspect in the warrant, was apparently sleeping on a couch as police charged in. They fired upon him when they noticed a firearm, which family members say he had a license to carry. Residents in Austin, Texas continue to be on a citywide boil water notice Sunday. The officials say the notice will be in effect for a few days. The Ulrich water treatment plant was taken offline Saturday due to an internal treatment process issue that led to cloudiness in the water. During a water boil notice, residents are asked to boil all water used for consumption as drinking water or eating and brushing teeth. The boil notice also extends to consumption uses for pets. According to the CDC, it is safe to use laundry machines and washing clothes as normal. This is the city's first water boils notice since the winter storm in February of 2021, which lasted nearly a week. White House officials are warning a, a Russian invasion of Ukraine could happen at any time, and a new government assessment finds the casualties would be staggering. NBC's Bree Jackson has the latest from Washington. With the first wave of U.S. troops already on the ground in Europe... Any message to the troops in Poland and their families, sir? The White House is sending a dire warning. We're in the window where something could happen that is a, a military escalation and invasion of Ukraine could happen at any time. Satellite images show what appears to be Russia's military buildup along Ukraine's border. A new U.S. intelligence assessment finds Russia has assembled roughly 70 percent of the forces it would need to launch a full-scale invasion. If that happens, troop losses for Ukraine could be as high as 25,000 killed or wounded while Russia could lose as many as 10,000 troops. The threat has Ukrainians preparing for the worst. Are you scared for your family? You're all going to die someday, and uh, the thing you can do is you can live your life in dignity. The Security Council... U.S. officials continue to push for diplomacy. We're still working to discourage the Russians from making uh, the wrong choice of choosing confrontations. On Capitol Hill, lawmakers are pressing for sanctions to stop Russia's aggressive actions. These are dangerous times, times of the essence. This will be the largest invasion in Europe uh, since World War II. Meanwhile, more U.S. troops are on their way to Europe to reinforce NATO allies ahead of a possible Russian invasion. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News.